The annual Guangzhou Flower Carnival has kicked off at the Guangzhou Plain. This year's festival will feature performances, photography classes, DIY activities, and guided tours. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang has the highlights. The Guangzhou Flower Carnival has kicked off. The floral sea has expanded to 4.44 hectares this year. The fields is covered with zinnias, sunflowers, and cosmos. Behind it are the majestic peaks of Guanying Mountain, Datuan Mountain, and Xixing Mountain. I think it's very beautiful. I think I like the dark red flowers better. The field is quite unique. Actually, we love taking pictures, so we came here for a walk. Guangzhou Flower Carnival is underway. Many locals cycle to Guangzhou Plain to admire the flowers. We rode our bikes from Da'an Station. From Gongguan, we rode from the riverside to Guangdu. This place is very suitable for riding bicycles and admiring flowers. It is also a great place to bring children. Maybe because the weather has been dry, so it's not as beautiful as I imagined. The bicycle lanes are very good. The festival features performances, photography, DIY and sketch classes, and guided tours. Online registration has already opened. Organizers are asking visitors not to step into flower fields. The information about the DIY classes is posted on our Facebook page and website. You can sign up there. Our flower sea this year is larger than in previous years, and we have some fences around it. We want to remind everyone to please walk on the ridge of the field. This year, we've also set up spots for people to take photos and check in on social media. Organizers encourage people to get to the festival by shuttle bus or bicycle. Visitors can ride along the Jilong Riverside bike path between Guandu and Shiling to Baxin Pumping Station. Once there, walk down the stairs to reach the flower fields. The festival will be held till November 26. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Chen Xianhan in Taipei.